This conference actually is uh, the culmination of uh, many years of work on green growth here at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. We think it's very important that the OECD uh, looks at this, uh, these questions of the environment as they relate to economics. They've done a lot of work on green growth. We've been very involved here. Uh, many U.S. government agencies, the State Department, the Environmental Protection Agency, um, other parts of the U.S. government, to ensure that the green growth work that is being developed here is consistent with what U.S. views and U.S. interests and U.S. positions are. Um, Right now they're working on developing a, a strategy for green growth that countries can use. They're looking for indicators to measure how countries are growing in a green way, in an environmentally conscious or environmentally sustainable way. And this is extremely important. It's important that we're using the OECD because as you know, or as many know, the OECD is a more economically oriented organization. It looks at markets, it looks at correct policies, it looks at economic growth and prosperity. It's really not an environmentally oriented organization. And so the, the coalescence and the nexus between economic growth and environmental sustainability is extremely important for our prosperity, for our social and economic prosperity as, as a people and for the United States. And we're, we're thrilled that the OECD, which is a, uh, an apolitical organization that has evidence-based, data-based analyses and recommendations, is working on these important green growth questions now and will inform international debates, such as at the Rio conference that's coming up later this summer, and at international meetings and intergovernmental kinds of negotiations, discussions, and debates that are coming up. It'll be informed by the kind of recommendations, the kind of analyses that the OECD and, and maybe only the OECD can produce.